Hey, what's up guys? Joe Brinker back here again from Back to Basics Fitness and today we're gonna learn how to do the one arm push up. This is definitely a good goal to shoot for. There is technique involved, but it does require a lot of strength. So without further ado, let's break this one down. For starters, you definitely wanna make sure that you can perform at least 20 to 25 good, clean, full range of motion push ups. And before you try to come to the floor, you definitely wanna practice this movement on a higher surface. Somewhere like your countertop is a good place to start. And then over time, you just work down, down, and down until eventually you get to the floor, now from the floor. So with this push up movement, everybody says they don't count if your legs are wide. That's ridiculous. They do count. It's just that the closer your legs get towards each other, the harder it becomes. But this is how to do the one arm push up for beginners when you're first getting there. Wide legs are okay. I'm using the dumbbells right now simply because I was doing some really hard pull up work earlier and I tore open my hands. But normally I would just do them from the floor. It definitely requires more wrist flexibility. So the dumbbells are a good option for anybody who has not very flexible wrists. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the push up position here. I'm gonna make sure my shoulder blades are not elevated. They should be depressed. My head is not in flexion. It is not an extension. It is simply in a neutral position. My legs are wider than shoulder width apart. Now from here, I'm gonna pick the arm that I wanna start with. I'm gonna start with my right arm. So what I like to do is put the left arm behind the back. Notice I have a straight line from shoulder down to the hand. What you're gonna notice as well is that your body wants to rotate towards that arm. Your goal is to try to remain as flat as possible. So step one towards learning the single arm push-up is to be able to hold this, a very clean single arm plank, making sure that you're not allowing rotation. So this plank would be an anti-rotational movement. You're gonna wanna shoot for three sets of 30 seconds each side. That'll ensure that you have the wrist stability, the shoulder stability, and the core strength to begin adding in the actual push-up. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and add in the actual push-up. One thing you could do if you can't make it all the way down, you can stack up some books, so that way you're working at a reduced range of motion. So for example, I could put something right here, I could get into my one-arm push-up position, and I could simply go down until I touch, and then press back up. Even though it's at a reduced range of motion, you basically use the same method that, that I mentioned earlier in the beginning. I like using books because I can take one away, take one away, take one away, and I can record it, I can write it down, and I can measure my, uh, you know, I can measure my progress. So that's where you wanna start. And then obviously, eventually, you get down really low, and now it's time to get down to the floor. But as far as the technique goes, you really wanna make sure that you don't let the elbow get away from you. This movement is all about keeping the elbow in nice and tight, so it's really gonna hammer your triceps. Now from here, you just need to get ready to push like hell. Inhale through the nose on the way down, and exhale through the mouth on the way up. Again, you wanna stay really close to the pushing arm. So one more time, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Make sure that you train the other arm as well. As far as sets and reps go, you wanna stay anywhere from three to five sets in the one to five repetition range. Your first goal should be to get three sets of five per arm, then four sets of five per arm, five sets of five per arm, and at that point, your next goal should be three sets of 10 per arm. As far as progression from that point on, you can do them decline, you can do them wearing a weight vest or a backpack, you can add frequency, you can decrease your rest period. There are a number of ways. So there you have it. There's the single arm push up. I hope these tips help. Please follow, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Share this video and until next time, stay strong. Peace out.